So why, how would you guys not tell? Look, this is my quick reaction. I'm not even calling a review reaction to seeing, to visualizing, to hearing the Japanese versions of BTS Might Drop, DNA, and a new song, Crystal Snow. Crystal Snow. First off, I'll, I'll tell you this. I like the original version of DNA better. I don't know why, but to me, the Japanese version almost sounds like, because the speed's done right, the key's done correctly, production, none of that's an issue. It's just the lyrics in Japanese, it just sounds like a whole nother song. And I'm sure some people really like that. I was just like, okay, this is cool. It's still a bop regardless. Mic Drop truly is one of those stunt on them type of tracks because just like in true hip hop fashion, when you have success, you have to have a track to go and kind of just pick, pick up yourself a little bit. And so that's what Mic Drop's about. So we get the original version off of the LPEP. Then we get the, then we get the remix with Steve Aoki. Then we get the remix with Designer and Steve Aoki. I did a video for that. The music video. Now for this, we get music videos for the Japanese versions of the... God, is so good. So real. I was awake. Like, I saw the music video, the ultra, the music video for Mic Drop in Japanese. And, you know, obviously subtle differences like Steve Aoki, he was there, but... Instead of seeing his face, you just saw a shadow, and then you had that, uh, you know, that big, that black figure with the eyes, the red eyes, there, like, watching them and all of that. So, I got that. The visuals are cool. I love how each time there's slightly subtle changes with the scenes and all of that, and the choreography. It's, they put in a lot of work. I appreciate all of it. I truly appreciate all of it. And... I really like the Japanese version of Mic Drop. I really appreciate the fact that oh, like that version of the instrumental and in Japanese, it flows, It that works, it really does. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. But let's be very clear. Crystal Snow. I said, wait a minute. I love soundtrack music. So this is not a diss when I say this. It sounds like the perfect soundtrack music. And I know this is going to be a reach, but the thing that I thought of was Inuyasha. I don't know if any of you who are watching this ever watched Inuyasha. I loved that show, especially the music. And I felt like this it was one of those shows to close out the series. Not an episode. Mm, the series. Because it, it just felt complete. And towards the middle of the song after all them high notes all them sustained high i said what's going on here it was like one of the other i i i, I i'm so glad i'm a night person i stay up during the night because it was 1207 when i was listening to a uh, title and looking at um, BTS's, you know, discography. And then, like, instantly I blinked, and there was my drop DNA, Crystal Snow, Japanese version. I said, what? Crystal Snow is a bop. I need to hear it on the radio. I, I'm going to hear it in my car regardless. That's all that matters. I streamed. I streamed it at least four or five times. Within the last 24, hmm, I should say five to, ten, five to ten times within the last 24 hours. Gotta keep it going. Definitely have to keep supporting Mic Drop, period, so that, you know, it can stay in the charts for a while because that deserves, it deserves a crossover. I mean, especially with some of the stuff out where it's just like, really? If anyone deserves, they deserve. Hard work needs to pay off. So let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Crystal Snow. Crystal Snow. That's how I'm seeing it. Don't judge. I actually do.